Hey everybody, I'm Eddie, and I'm here to answer questions. First off, I just want to say thank you all so, 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 so much. Thank you all so much for being so amazing, and um, thank you all for all the love that you've been showing. It's been an amazing experience, I've got to say, and uh, it means so much to me to know that there are some people out there that, you know, rock with what I have going on. And so today, I just wanted to go ahead and um, answer a lot of the questions that I've been getting since, you know, since everything happened. So that being said, uh, let's get into it. Something, 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 can I get it? I just want it, I just want it. something, something. So. Uh, what I did was, to make sure this video wasn't like a million years long, I went through and I looked at all of your questions and I chose 15 of them. 15 which either were asked a whole lot or questions that I feel really needed to be addressed. So, that being said, let's get into it. Okay, here we go. Number one. Um, Esmeralda. So, it's actually funny. I, okay, so I was uh, I was at a show one day, and as a lot of you all have seen, um, when I have Esmeralda with me on stage, she's tied around the mic, mic stand. I had her with me all the time, and then one day I was just like, you know what? She's so special to me. She's always there. Um, she needs a name. So after that show, someone came up to me and I started talking to them about the whole thing. Uh, shout out to Maria. <laughs> and I said that I needed to give her a name that was elegant and beautiful and uh, had like purpose behind it. Um, pretty much like Esmeralda herself, you know? And she said, well, she named her Esmeralda. It's a good name. And so I was like, yeah, it's perfect. Since then, that's for now. Boom. All right, next question. Here we go. Didn't think we'd get this far. I grew up listening to a lot of Michael Jackson and Stevie Wonder and Prince and uh, Nirvana, Earth, Wind and Fire, Kim Burrell. <laughs> You know, all that. And then I'm also inspired by what I see on a day-to-day -day basis. I've been around a, a lot of amazing independent artists and a lot of uh, great musicians and things of that nature around the country. And they're all in some way, shape or form, some type of um, attribution to who I am today as an artist. I thank everyone for that. But yeah, <laughs> I guess I guess that was the best way I could answer that question. Okay, next question. I can't stop myself from so I play most percussion, including piano, drums, a little guitar, a little bass, trombone, baritone. That 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 was the answer. All right, next question. Here we go. <sighs> wow, this is a this is a hard one. My best performance to date. Back in 2017, I did the Apollo in the third round. We had some fun. That band was smacking. That crowd was rocking. And everything was just like there. Um, I don't have the footage to that though. So, um, hashtag get Eddie's Apollo footage. I don't know. I feel like that's a really long hashtag. I'm not even gonna, let's get rid of that. <laughs> All right, next question. My favorite song. Okay, this is actually really hard because I have so many favorite songs. I guess the favorite song that I have of mine right now would probably be Hot Sauce. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Purple Rain, The Beautiful Ones, anything by Michael Jackson, Prince, or Stevie Wonder, Earth, Wind & Fire. Next question. All right, so I've been getting this question a lot. I guess it would only be right for me to answer it. Um, in this industry that we're in, the Hollywood part of uh, this industry, none of the songs that I actually wanted to do were clear. And the ones that I did want to do, somebody else ended up doing, I'm not gonna name any names, Jason. <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> 
but but Nick Jonas is an amazing vocalist and an amazing songwriter and artist. And also, um, in the past, we struggled with a lot of the same things uh, health-wise. Back in 2017, really busy year for me. This, now, this is going to be a totally different video where I explain this whole thing, but back in 2017, um, something happened, and I lost the use of my motor functions and things of that nature. And um, I, actually, I actually was watching videos of Nick Jonas when I got out of the hospital to, um, you know, encourage myself to get better. You know, fast forward. Uh, so yeah, that is, that's uh, how that happened. All right, next question. I just pretty much cut out a whole lot of stuff that, you know, made me sick and uh, went vegan, uh, team vegan. And uh, that's been a huge, huge, huge help with my uh, entire life uh, in general. Next question. I'm not gonna lie, it was such an amazing experience. I really enjoyed every minute of it. All the people were amazing. Uh, the time that I spent there was amazing. I love Los Angeles. It was wonderful. The production team was amazing. Um, uh, everything it was great. Next question! I've been getting this question a whole lot, and um, I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit surprised, but the second that I saw it, what came to mind is, during the first episode, some of you all may have seen uh, a girl named Valentina go on there, and she's, she's an amazing girl, sweet girl, and uh, she has a great voice and a huge passion for what she does. So she got up there and um, a lot of us know what happened. Pretty much she came to the back covered in tears. One of the first things that I told her was, you're gonna be famous. No matter what happened, you're still gonna be famous. The internet's gonna love you. So, you know, and then not only that, you went up there and did what you do. So it's not a loss. You did your thing so yeah keep going and make it happen and so i just had to think about it like that like shoot it was still fun like the crowd was amazing <laughs> moving on okay so this is not a fair question at all <laughs> okay uh but because i've been asked it so much I might as well go ahead and answer it, and my answer is, I do not have a favorite at all, Fergie, and everyone on that show is so amazing. Hey, Fergie. Yeah, that's all I gotta say about that, okay? So, that's it. I gotta and the question of the day. Oh my gosh. So it's about to get crazy. To say the least, it's about to get absolutely insane. I got a lot of amazing stuff coming up. I don't know. I, I shouldn't even tell you all about it right now. I'll just let you see it as it comes along. But I'm talking music releases, shows, more TV stuff. So it's, yeah, it's cool. It's real cool. Ooh, and I have gotten this question a lot too. All right, so um, now that I'm like technically famous and stuff, I guess it would make sense for me to go ahead and throw this out there into the atmosphere. I'd like to go ahead and just set this list right here. Just, yeah, I'm not even gonna say it. It's just, there's just gonna be a list of names right here. It's a long list. It's probably gonna be on this side by now too. Yeah, that's who I'd like to work with. It's crazy. All right. Let me see the chocolate shake. Am I going on tour? That's a question. This is the real question. This has been asked to me. Am I going on tour? Yes, I'm going on tour. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. I will be in your city. I will be there for you. Yes, yes. I love you too. Moving on. So my advice to anyone out there is to keep going, no matter what happens, 
keep pushing, keep working, make your dreams come true because I could write a book on this stuff right here. Whatever you dream of, whatever you set in your mind as the goal that you're going to achieve, it will happen. The law of attraction is so real. The things that you think about and the things that you want to achieve, the things that you envision, the things that you want the most will happen. Like seriously, if you write down the things that you want to see happen in your life and you work towards them without stopping and you just keep on going no matter what happens i promise you they will happen so that's my advice don't stop keep going make it happen that's what i've got to say about that <sighs> this is a real question guys that i've been getting a lot all i gotta say is you know where my dms are Thank you all so much for being so amazing. That's it for today. I might in the future uh, cover some more questions that you all have asked. But for now, I would like to say that no matter what it looks like over the horizon, greater is coming. And you all are the best. You all are amazing. Um, every single person watching this video right now, I have so much love for you. Everyone that I've come in contact with since the show and even beforehand when I was still doing festivals and concerts and events and stuff like that around the country you all all mean so much to me and you all are the reason why I'm here today doing what I do and it means so much to me so much love to you all and take care I'll see you soon something special oh, and I think we could be more than friends oh since the day oh that I met you oh you've made me feel now you've made me feel now you've made me feel so free